This is Brent Grover from Evergreen Consulting for Advanced Supply Chain Software, powered by IBIS. This month's topic is revenue leakage, and this week specifically I want to talk about weeding out cash discounts and credit card fees for customers. But before I talk about this week's subject, I want to just review uh, something we talked about uh, previously, which is just a question about your revenue leakage situation at your distribution business. Are you aware of the revenue leakage problem and you're working hard on it, You've already accomplished a lot? Have, been, have you been working on it, but you know you can do better? Or uh, finally, are you really kind of in the category of being a sales-focused distributor and follow along the theory that uh, if sales are, are good, then everything else will take care of itself? Well, whichever category you fall into, let me just review some of the sources of leaks, uh, below market pricing, overpaying for products, uh, over-servicing customers, asset shrinkage, uh, having excess capacity in the business, or uh, wasted labor. And, and you could probably think of some more, and there are more, but uh, let's just focus now on uh, this month's uh, uh, area of, of special uh, discussion, which has been three things you can do, and this week, uh, again, the topic is weeding out cash discounts to customers and credit card fees to customers uh, that uh, are a revenue leakage uh, example. So uh, I refer to the old adage, the sale isn't made till the bill is paid. Unfortunately, uh, we distributors are in the banking business, whether we want to be or not. And we have learned to rely on tricks of the trade for getting paid, such as cash discounts to bribe or induce customers to pay us faster, or, or even uh, letting customers or encouraging customers to use credit cards to pay us uh, on the theory that uh, we'll, we'll get paid faster. Uh, cash discounts are a holdover from prior generations, if you will. And at that time, all distributors were basically the same, sold the same products from the same suppliers to pretty much the same customers and there wasn't a whole lot of distinctiveness and one of the things that uh, distributors had to do to get customers to pay uh, was to offer a cash discount and i'd like to reiterate something you may have heard me say before which is the cash discounts that we give to our customers are an inducement to pay faster the cash discounts we get from our suppliers from our vendors are really trade discounts. They're not specifically designed to get us to pay faster because our suppliers expect that we'll take those discounts. In fact, if we don't, they wonder if we're financially capable because uh, the discounts are such an important part of our profit. I'd like to put forth the idea that cash discounts for customers, uh, for our customers, have very little effect on their paying behavior. And if you run the numbers, uh, you're really, uh, for example, with 1% 10 net 30-day terms, you're borrowing for your customers at 18% interest. And if your terms are 2% 10 net 30, you're borrowing from your customers at 36% interest. And you could do the arithmetic for yourself, but the fact is that that's a great deal more interest expense that we, than we would incur uh, borrowing from the bank. Now, credit cards are a newer innovation and uh, they are appropriate if we're using them, for example, to extend credit to risky accounts where we're afraid we're not going to get paid, uh, to one-time buyers where it's not worth the expense and the trouble to set up an account, or, of course, uh, with Internet sales. However, for our stock uh, uh, in trade customers, our ongoing business, we're paying a, a 3% or so fee that earns um, – earns uh, 2%, and let me tell you what I, I mean by that, and that is that uh, that 3% fee for business, uh, and that's inclusive of not only the credit card processor fee, but also the cost of processing the credit card in our own system, and if you look closely at your company's processes and procedures, you'll probably find you're spending uh, a good deal more time processing credit card transactions than um, uh, typical transactions. But when I say we're spending a 3% fee for business that earns 2%, most distributors don't earn much more than a 2% pre-tax return on sales. And we're in no position to pay a 3% or even a 2.5% fee for business that own, earns only 2%. We're literally losing money. 
And a, another way to look at that credit card fee is that we're buying frequent flyer miles for our customer that are worth one cent each, but we're paying three cents for them. So obviously a bad deal. And what we have here is a leakage of profit from uh, and revenue profit from our uh, channel into the uh, into the credit card processor's pocket. So to make a bad situation worse, uh, in some cases, customers put us in a situation where they pay a past due invoice uh, with a credit card. We have to pay the fee uh, for a past due, and then they restart the entire cycle because now that they're not past due anymore, under the normal circumstances, we'll extend credit to them again, and it'll start all over again. So the fact is that getting paid is expensive. It's one of our basic competencies in our business. It's a core competency. We're really amateurs when it comes to banking, most of us in wholesale distribution, and the cost of getting paid doesn't get enough attention, and it's a revenue leak from the channel. So just to wrap up this week's session on revenue leakage, frankly, you know, it happens in the best-run wholesale distribution businesses. It's hard enough for us to keep up with our customers and our suppliers, our competitors, our potential competitors, and substitute products. All these strategic activities that we pursue take us away from dealing with small problems like little leaks, but they become big profit gushers. So that's it for this week. I'll wrap up this month's topic next week. And until then, this is Brent Grover from Evergreen Consulting for Advanced Supply Chain Solutions powered by IBIS.